Hey cat. <laughs> well, good day, viewers. as well. Yeah, I made a very crude antenna. As I mentioned in the previous video about the antennas, I mentioned how long these masts had to be and how far they had to be apart and how long the antenna had to be from my local area. Well, I decided to make one. Just a shovel handle, which was broken, which I cut the broken bit off. Yeah, it's almost to the exact length of a real antenna. Bits of um, uh, trellis wire cut up. Just get 750, take 50 off as you go along. You get short by 50 mil each time you go, so I got this much masts. These act as reflectors. And this loop is a VHF loop. And I got an old um, sp uh, spade terminal. Heated this junction up red hot and just put solder in there. So I got a good connection. That's very good now. Yeah, because that wire's galvanized, I had to burn it off. Okay, we'll see how good VHF signals we got. I had it up on the roof, on the, on the pole, and I got everything, so it's actually worked. I'm going to try it indoors. I'm going to try and get up there and hold it a bit so I can try a VHF channel here. I'm going to try. Yeah, this TV has a very crap CRT. Yeah, if I go out in the roof and hold it, I'll get everything. Yeah, alright, let's try another channel. We're hanging up here on the curtain. I'll put menu on, we'll see what, um, how strong signal we get. Yeah, you can see how crap this CRT is. Very crap. It looks worse on, on in real life than what it does on camera. I've adjusted the focus and everything and they got very bad um yeah very bad quality picture on this TV. It's not a very old set either. I think it's a 1996 model. There you go. I have it for stand in the roof I get I get 80% signal quality. That's pretty good for inside here, inside a brick building behind a tin shed. Try and hold it as high as I can, pour it out the window a bit. I should be getting something. But yeah, you see what this ring actually does, it captures the um, VHF signals so that these reflect. Let's sit on top of the TV, just crudely, we'll see what happens. But yeah, if I have it on the roof, it works good. Because I'm up really high here. Let's try radio, no. Let's try a 7 mate. Channel 7 is the strongest signal I've got out here, so. Basically, I got to point it like that towards the transmitter tower. It's down that way, which is yeah, towards um, southwest uh, eastern. I can't get high enough to get it to receive anything. But yeah, if I stand in the roof and put it on the roof and try it, it'll work. So yeah, I'll do that. Stick it on the roof and then we'll try it. Okay, Bill, as well, I just crudely got the antenna connected up here. Just plugged an inner conductor on the end of that wire where I put the clip down on the spade terminal on. I'll try it now. The higher I go, the better signal I get. But I'll try VHF now and I should get something. Here we go. Let's try a HD VHF channel. Yeah. But yeah, I've got to get it up really high to get it to work, but it works. Test reception. One thing I didn't, yeah, hopes if I plug it in. <laughs> um, there we go. Oh, there you go. This um, antenna quality is shit. I've got a, it's got a break somewhere in it. So I don't just get rid of that. This thing's absolutely crap. I never get good signal through that cable. 
but it's only a cheap supermarket one, so I'll just do it this way. I'll plug this straight into the back of the box. Then we'll try what happens. There we go. Yeah. Gotta get, I've got to have my antenna up higher to get a better signal quality. Let's try seven mate. Ah, I got prime. Channel seven. Let's try ABC. Yeah. I haven't got my antenna up high enough. Basically, well, I've, got to, I've got to have it pointing that way. It's going to be pointing up that way to get a good signal, not pointing to the sky, because that's not where the antenna is. Is that the i got channel 10. Yeah, digital signal breaks up. Get this shield away from the um, inner conductor, because that will just cause shorts. I'm going to go on the other shed and see what the other box is like. So yeah, let's go check the other set top box here, that's going. Set the box is starting up. And this TV on. See what this TV can get. Yeah, that's channel 10. VHF breaks up instead of VHF on this one. As your signal strength. Let's try some VHF. It's only a standard definition box. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to point the antenna up that way towards the um, transmitter tower and I'll get good signal. So I'll try and adjust it, see what we can get. Move it a little bit higher if I can. Joseph. Okay, the oars are I adjusted the antenna. I potted it towards the transmitter tower, and now I see how much signal we got. Get up and take there we go. And his mother. 90 percent signal strength eat. just by moving the antenna directly Stay towards the transmitter tower. Ah, oh, I got a VHF signal. That's cool. That's HC, right, bro? Work. ABC works. That's the 80 percent signal. ABC two works. Two ABC ones for some stupid reason. ABC three works. SPS is uh, not too good, but I can move the antenna a little bit higher to get that. Let's try seven two. That ought to work. Seven mate. That yeah. SD box. Look at that. Just by moving the antenna in the direction of the transmitter tower, I got more um, results. If I move it higher, I get all the channels, no interruption, but yeah. This set the box gets good signal too through that, so yeah. That's how I made my um, DTV antenna, and yeah, thanks for watching.